Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. In this video, we'll be touching a little bit about the principles of a basic rigging and try to help you understand the things we are looking for for a safe rigging in a best practice scenario. Let's get to it. Every country has their own standards. For instance, in the Netherlands, we have a standard for anchor points that a single anchor point needs to be capable of a breaking strength of 12 kn or 1200 kilos. If we would look at the IRATA International Code of Practice, in there they say a 15 kn load for an anchor point. So depending on the country or the standard you're complying to, you're going to have to adjust these numbers a little bit. I mainly work for IRATA companies, so I'm going to stick with that. IRATA tells us that we need a 15 kn anchor point and we need two independent anchor points. One for our main line and one for our backup line should something happen to our main line. Always two separate anchor points. For instance, we have this beautiful anchor point over here. If these both have a breaking strength greater than 15 kn or 1500 kilograms, I can do a basic rigging. What does a basic rigging look like? For instance, you tie two double figure of eight knots or figure of eight on a bite. Put, put one rope in one anchor point. Get your other rope and put it in the other anchor point. I have knots in the bottom of these ropes. So now I'm good to go. For instance, I could say that I'm going to use this one as my main line and this one as my backup line. Should something happen to, happen to this, then I will fall into my backup device in the other line. This is basic rigging, perfectly acceptable. Another example of basic rigging and the kind of basic rigging that we use often is if the anchor points are really close to each other or on top of each other. So best practice, what a lot of people in the Netherlands like to see. I can't speak for the whole world. But where I work, a lot of people do like this. Put both of the bites in one carabiner and the other carabiner through both of the bites as well. Basic rigging, the load is shared. Should something happen to one sling, there will not be a shock load in the other sling. Another best practice, little point of attention, is that we try to put our carabiners in in such a way that when I lock it, that the screw goes down. So down with gravity. So if the wind is vibrating the rope, that does not go like this. And if I would, if I would go like that, in a few minutes, it's gonna be open. Now, when you're running airlines or high water pressures, hoses through the carabiners, you will see that the, the, the gate or the, the, the screw gate will be going up and down when the water is running through. That will happen. In those instances, you have to do a risk assessment on that and maybe decide to use Triact three-way locking carabiners. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to be updated straight away when new videos are released. And leave a comment and tell me what you think of this. All right, I will see you in the next video. Stay connected.